Good morning and welcome to your 805 News Broadcast. What do you call a bear without any teeth? A gummy bear. My name is Mark Perkins, filling in for Justin Mott. He should be back next week. Let's start the show off with some community news. Tri-County Harvest for Homes Food Pantry will be closed the following Thursdays, December 19th, December 26th, and January the 2nd. There will be no procedure drop during December. The pantry will reopen January the 9th at 8.30 a.m. The Center Police Department and Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center want to thank everyone that came out and donated blood during their Christmas Eve blood drive. They had a great and wonderful turnout. 35 people showed up to donate and only three deferrals occurred. With double donors and plasma, they received 38 units of blood, and that is a big number to reach during these drives. The police department says that it will make a huge impact on those in need, and they thank everyone that took the time to come out and show their support and save lives. Donors even received a hoodie for their donation. In church news, this Sunday, December the 29th, Mount Calvary Full Gospel Church is holding its every fourth Sunday night gospel singing event. Musicians and vocalists are welcome. It's going to start at 6 p.m. The location is two miles off of 87 Highway 417 East. It's in Shelbyville. There will be finger foods and refreshments afterwards. Has it hit you yet? The new year is about to begin. It's right around the corner. And we want to make sure that we're starting off 2020 safely. Here are some safety tips from the National Council on Fireworks Safety. First, obey all laws regarding the use of fireworks. Know your fireworks. Read the cautionary labels and performance descriptions before igniting. A responsible adult should supervise all firework activities. Never give fireworks to children. Alcohol and fireworks do not mix. Save your alcohol for after the show. Wear safety glasses when shooting fireworks. Light one firework at a time and then quickly move away. Use fireworks outdoors in a clear area away from buildings and vehicles. Never relight a dud firework. Wait 20 minutes and then soak it in a bucket of water. Always have a bucket of water and charged water hose nearby. Never carry fireworks in your pocket or shoot them into metal or glass containers. Do not experiment with homemade fireworks. Never point or throw fireworks at other people. Do not light fireworks indoors and do not light fireworks in your hand. Sliding into your school news, January next month is School Board Recognition Month. January is a great time to celebrate your hardworking school board members and educate the public about the important role that a school board member plays in our communities and schools. More school news for January. Parents, I hope you're enjoying the time you're having with your children. Remember that if they are from Excelsior or Joaquin, they return on Monday, January the 6th. And if they're from Center Garrison, Logan Sports, Shelbyville, San Augustine, Tinaha or Timpson schools, they will return on Tuesday, January the 7th. Also, it's nice to know that all of those schools will be off January the 20th, recognizing MLK Day. And with that, our news broadcast will come to a close. My name is Mark Perkins, wishing you good luck. CBC-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.